Welcome back to Okami. I'm Jimmy Joe. I apologize for my voice today, but uh, I've been a little sick. Um, last time we did the owls, and I think we have to go to the other... Uh-oh. We have to go to the other tower to get to the other owls. Um, there's a lot of cannons here. Oh, okay. Um, looks like I can, I can light these. See what happens when I light them. Kaboom. Alright. Didn't really do anything. These spinning ones are gonna be a pain though. Alright. Mm. Bang. Okay, that's not exactly where it was aiming, but... Oh, they're expended. Okay. Alright. So you can only use them once. As long as they hit something. Alright, so there's that. These are all expended. Is there something else I can do? Wait, did I need this? Um, power of fire. I don't think I needed this. I'm gonna stick with the glaive. Alright, so how do I get over there? That's the question. Oh, I know why I needed it. Because it had the power of fire in case I needed to use fire when there was no fire around. Alright, that's fine. <coughs> Does that do anything? Mm, no, it doesn't. Oh, right. The crystal thingies. Oh. Poop on you. And then I'm going to be shot with... Cannonballs! No! Oh, I forgot there was timed. Okay. Where am I? There we go. Okay. Ow. Oh, come on. Alright. Oh! Alright. So, first... Is this... As long as I'm not on the ground when it hits, it should be fine. Ow. Okay, so I made it across. I think I need to melt this. That's an ice orb. Ow. Can I kill this? I can't kill this, can I? Um. 
What do I have to do? Ow. Ow. No! no that's not where I wanted you to go. Shoot. This is really annoying. Where'd the ball go? No! Where's the ball? Oh, is that it? Oh, it's right there. I should be able to be behind this rock and not have it happen like that. That's really annoying. Can, do I have to go behind this thing? No. What am I supposed to do? Whoa! Seriously, what the hell am I supposed to do with this? Ah! Uh... Well, at least this gives me a chance to rest for a second, figure it out. Um, I don't know if you can hear that, but there's something going on outside. Hold on a second. All right. So, apparently, somebody outside is having issues with their truck. But, I don't know how to get rid of this... This thing. Can I come to the side of it so I can see it? Yes. So, how exactly do I... deal with this cannon thing? If I walk any further away from me, it will try to shoot me. But I can get right next to it, and it won't shoot. And I can't cut it. It won't let me slash it. I don't know why it won't let me slash it. Ah, come on. So how am I supposed to kill this thing? Am I supposed to, like, freeze it? Are there other things that I need to cut down or something?
Ugh, I wish I could see better. Maybe if I cut down all of these? do this. I can put out the fires. But I don't think that does anything. I have this orb here. Is there anything above it that I can cut? That will fall on it or something? I don't see anything. if I have to hit it back at it? Maybe? Yes! Oh, okay. Cool. I figured it out. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Alright, so now we gotta bring this thing in there. Get the wind to push it in. Why isn't it pushing it in? Oh, that would explain a lot, actually. Yay! These glaives are powerful. Alright, so now I should be able to push this ball in. Although, I don't know if I'm actually supposed to bring this with me, or... It doesn't look like it. Maybe I can find something like the fire charm to uh, pick it up with. Ooh. Okay. Fire chest. Okay, it looks like I probably need the ice thing, but I couldn't get it through the door. Why couldn't I get it through the door? Come on, camera. Alright, there's a little bit. I keep getting frozen if ever I hit it, so... I'm running into the issue... of being able to move it. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, crap. So I thought I could just blow it like this. <sighs> that is not what I wanted. So 
see why doesn't that why doesn't that work maybe this will give me something no of course not um so what do I do I need this to go through the door. Unless I can melt it slightly or cool it down slightly. Do it this way. Does that work? Of course it didn't. Ow. Is this bugged or something? Maybe I can... Can't slash it. Stop it. Why? This is ridiculous. How the hell am I supposed to move this? God damn it. Okay, maybe I just need to be closer. There we go. That's a little bit better. Get in the wall. Get in. Get in there. Get in there. Circle, thank you. Circle. <sighs> Waiting on the ink. Okay. Come on. No, don't hit it. Okay. Okay. Now we have this. Oh, come on! What a wonderful, uh, platform to fall onto. <coughs> Alright. Um, so I clearly need to get... No, don't fall off! <laughs> okay, don't fall off, don't fall off, thank you. 
Oh, thank you. It didn't go back outside. Alright. So, clearly, I need to find... Is that it over there? I can't see it, but I'm pretty sure that's it over there. I need to find the key, which I'm pretty sure... The key... And then let's slow down time... So I have a little bit extra... Get over here... Come on. Come on! Oh, that was really close. Alright, so bomb. Key. I feel like these are traps. It's gonna knock me off. <laughs> Alright. So now... Odd that it doesn't do all of them. And then slow time so I have time. Get over there. Get over there. Get over there. Okay. Whew, we made it. Get this stuff out of here. Next door. Alright, and now there's dude. There's some chests. Which I need the, uh... Need this for. So I can do... This. Godly charm and something pottery. Hello. Who goes there? Hey, how'd you get in here? You ain't gonna come invade us, poor folk at a Wawaku shrine, have ya? If you have, you got me to answer too. We'll fight to end all fights, and the best way to settle it was well, business, of course. Sell. So. Oh, wow, I got a lot of those. Alright. Do you have anything of need right now for me? I have plenty of those. Okay. Nope. Don't need anything from you. Let's save, because I think this is... Whoops. Um, where the next fight is. Possibly. Yeah, that's where What's-His-Face is, so it must be there. Um, I'm going to put back on my Powerful Glaive, because I have more invested into the Glaive than anything else. Okay, how'd you get in here so quick? <coughs> oh, sorry. Actually, I owe it to that wolf and his little friend. Apunkel appeared after you left and told me to go help Amaterasu. So, that was the wolf's companion you were talking about, right? That wolf really seemed to perk up when uh, the Apunkel appeared. I looked like the wolf and had recovered somewhat. I looked like the wolf and had recovered somewhat. I sensed that they had a bond. A bond that made me feel okay. Oh, made me feel they'd be okay. So I left them and came rushing here. But enough talk for now. I take that you are if you are here, those demons must be somewhere up ahead. Well, Amaterasu, will you fight alongside me? Let's rumble. Oh, spirits of the air, earth, and sea, grant us your divine power. Raise this elevator to the sky, so we must fight the steampunk owls. Slot Machine Owl and Clock Owl. Uh, 
I'm not sure what their names translate into, but I wonder if like each of their names translate into what they are. Clock and slots. So this is where those bird brains went. They were trying to hide while they licked their wounds. We can't let these infernal contraptions get away this time. And I don't think we have enough energy to chase them down again. Them? Get away again? <laughs> no prey has ever eluded my trusty Denkomaru more than once. Nor my own. Rar! Let us fight. All right, so ah, come on! Oh, this camera is not gonna allow me to do too much of anything, is it? Uh, egg sounds bad. And these goes like these. That is not what I wanted. Ow. Okay. Lightning rod. Got it. Now, M. Therasu, pull me back like an arrow and fire me at those demons. Uh, okay. I will pull them down to the ground. How do I... Got it. Arrow? Oh, uh, bite. There we go. Alright, that was pretty cool. What do we got? What do we got? Uh, bomb? Fire. Okay, cool. What do we got next? No. Attack. Ah, crap. Kill the egg. Ooh, health. Oh, can I have the health, please? Thank you. All right, what you got next? Lightning rod. Slash. All right. This is a pretty cool fight. Oh, I have to pull him down now. Okay, cool. And now that he is down, now I slash him. I like how both of them have different mechanics, even though it's like the same mechanic. Alright, so we have to flourish that one. And slash that one. No, come on, come on, come on, come on, slash. Well, that's gonna be okay. I missed, that's fine. Ooh, oh, what? No, please no. <laughs> um. <laughs> no! This fight has changed a little bit. Oh, oh, oh. What do you have? Bomb. Fire. 
fire. Fire. Where's the fire? Fire. Fire. No, 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 no. Okay. Fire. There we go. Alright, we got that one. The lightning rod. And then slash. Okay. Gotta let my. All right. This is more important. And I got hit by that. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. Oh, I missed. You have to pull me back with all your strength to reach them. Well. Oh, come on. There. It looked like I pulled him all the way back. Alright, so that one's dead. I think. It's a, there's a, there's a very real possibility that it'll come back. They are machines. What do you... Alright, bomb. Fire to bomb. No! Is that good? Nice. Alright. Game! That was a cool fight. It was one of the easier fights of the game, but it was really cool. I liked it. It's nice that they had all the uh, elements that you needed for the fight right around the ring. And convenient thunderstorms above. The twin demons, which had suddenly awoke atop Ezofuji and tried to lay waste to the land of Kamui, were defeated. They disappeared in a burst of petals thanks to Oki and Amaterasu. However, a giant cloud of black as night cast a shadow on the scene. Blight, Nine Tails, the twin demons Lechku and Nechku. The souls of each were swept into the cloud as, as it moved. It drifted towards the Ark of Yamato at the bottom of Lauchi, Lauchi Lake. The Ark of Yamato is beckoning all of them, all of the world's darkness within. Tuskel's words echoed ominously, awakening Amaterasu's heart. All the sacrifices, all the life lost in the name of good. Was it all in vain? Shiran Yui, Amaterasu's hundred-year-old incarnation, was fatigued and exhausted by the intense battle. Ooh, bloody. However, when Shiran Yui noticed the glow of Oki's sword, Kutone, a sly smile seemed to uh, crease the wolf's tired lips. Satisfied with this bright glimmer of hope, Shiranyuri struggled to rise and put every last ounce of strength into passing through Ishaka, uh, Ishaku's gate back in time, back home. As Amaterasu and Isun looked on, they were, were fully aware that Shiranyuri headed back into the face the danger to the battle with Orochi after saving Nagi from the clutches of death and aiding them in their own quest Shiran Yui would die a hero marking the beginning of the legend of Orochi as Ishaku left the scene his eyes betrayed the sort of toughness one exhibits when preparing for the grave event.
Oops, into some fragment. <laughs> Howl of victory. Yeah, it took forever. Whatever. Still got a lot of money. Would you like to save the game? Of course. So I'm assuming we're getting really, really close to the end of this game. Probably another episode or two. Um, I don't know what the final boss holds, but... Amaterasu and the others return to the foot of Ezufuji. There they saw Lika praying intently. The storm had subsided. Then, as if to celebrate their hard-won victory, the twin volcanoes of Ezufuji erupted in great pillars of flame. The villagers felt the warmth on their skin and wept tears of joy. However, Oki merely sur surveyed the scene stoically, remaining silent. Although the evil demons had been driven away, the thought of having taken the sword and caused so much grief weighed heavily on his heart. The only one who could ease the burden of his woes was Samikal. The chieftain who had rescued Kemu from the shrine stepped forward. The chieftain who had rescued Kemu from the shrine stepped forward. Silently, he approached Oki, offering out his outstretched hand. His eyes betrayed the complexity of his emotions behind the gesture. Oki, realizing the gravity of the scene, extended his hand in turn. The moment they shook hands, Webkir was reborn into a village far too strong to ever fall victim to evil again. As for Kutone, the sword that vanquished the evil twins, or the twin demons, it was returned to the pedestal by Oki's own hand, and as long as the glow remained, no evil dared draw close. Kutone's gleam spoke of a power too great to succumb to evil. At that moment, the Ark. A brilliant flash of light shot forth from Katone, striking squarely on the frozen surface of Lauchi, Lauchi Lake. Though the lake had never shown any sign of melting, cracks began to open up along its surface. The legend of the Iron Ark, Yamato, said to have fallen from the heaven, and the holy Lauchi Lake, which, had called, which it called home, was revealed to be more than a mere legend before all those present. This should be cool. But that's where the dark things went, so... Is this turning into, like, sci-fi? Rainbow Bridge. Oh, it's... <laughs> it's Orc Reina of Time after we got all the temples. Alright, let's save here. What do you guys have to say? The Ark of Yamato. They say it fell from the heavens. It is indeed imposing. The wall of ice shatter and open the way to the heavens when Kutone glows silver. The prophecy wall of ice is not the demon's blizzard, but rather is the ice on our perpetually frozen lake. Amaterasu, if that ark is the way to the heavens, then you must embark upon it. Though, we have not known each other long. I can already tell that sort of being you are. For you, the realm of the gods lies ahead. It is a journey the rest of us cannot take. You knew that, didn't you, Amaterasu? Yes, I did. And with that, I think we're going to call this a short episode. And then, I believe, that is the last dungeon, so to speak. And we will pick that up next time on Shimmy Joe Gaming. Um, oh, there's some more people to talk to. Talk to those first. The Ark of Yamato. It's floating in the sky. 
How can such an enormous thing float in the sky like that? It must mean that the old legend says it's true. We'll get some backstory before we end this episode, I guess. Uh, the legend of how this ark was sunk in Lauchi Lake fell from the celestial plane and into our world. It says the Celestials who fell to our world with it were eaten up by countless vicious monsters. By the army controlled by evil and the ruler by the evil ruler of darkness, Yami. So the Ark of Yamato is related to the powers of darkness. Tesco, I'm scared. Tesco, I'm scared. All right. Well, we'll leave it here with the Orcarina of Time-esque bridge to Ganondorf's castle slash Yamato boat. <laughs> we'll see you next week. <laughs>